بسم اللہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ وبعد ان جوس ٹوینٹی تھری وی ہیو سورت الیاسین ون آف دا موسٹ بیوٹیفل سوراز آف دا قرآن رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیل ایوری تھنگ ایز اے ہارٹ دا ہارٹ آف دا قرآن از سورت الیاسین ناؤ ان دا سورا وی ہیو دس آیا آئی ہیو گریٹ بشارہ وی آسک اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ دس فار اس ان ما تنذر من اتبع الذکر و خشی الرحمن بالغیب فبشر ہو بمغفرۃ و اجر کریم اللہ سید یو کین اونلی وان ہیم who follows the reminder of the Qur'an and fears and has taqwa of Ar-Rahman of the most beneficent unseen Khashya Ar-Rahmana bil Ghaib who fears Ar-Rahman who is unperceivable without seeing him think about this why fear the one who has the most mercy that fear is not a fear of running away the fear is I do not want to offend or, or displease the one who has so much mercy. Who is my Rabb? And that's the essence of taqwa. And then Allah said, you, you give him the glad tidings of forgiveness and a generous reward which is Jannah, inshallah. The same surah again, we are warned, الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَىٰ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا أَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ On this day, we shall seal up their mouths and their hands will speak to us and their legs will bear witness to what they used to do. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from ourselves because we cannot deny the evidence of our own bodies. And then at the end Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيًّا أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ فَسُبْحَانَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيٌّ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ Verily his command when he intends a thing is only he says to it be and it is. So glorified is he and exalted and in whose hand is the dominion of all things and to him you shall be returned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's khudrat, we must remember this when we make dua. Then in Surah Al-Safat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this beautiful story of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam which is, a, which is the essence of raising children who are Muttaqoon, who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَمَّا بَلَغَا مَعَهُ السَّعْيَا قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّا إِنِّي أَرَا فِي الْمَنَامِ أَنِّي أَذْبَهُكَ فَانْذُرْ مَاذَا تَرَا قَالَ يَا أَبَتِ فَعَلْ مَا تُؤْمَرُ سَتَجِدُنِي إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ And when he, the son, was old enough to walk with him, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he said, O my son, I have seen in a dream that I am slaughtering you, I am sacrificing you to Allah. So look, meaning in the heart, look, what do you see? Look, what do you see? فَانْذُرْ مَا ذَا تَرَى He said, O oh my father, do that which you have been commanded to do, inshaAllah, you will find me of the Sabirin. Just think about that, what kind of conversation is this? Ismail is raised only by his mother, single parent. He has never seen his father until that day. Because he father left him there in Mecca in infancy and then he comes back maybe 10 years later or something like that. 8-9 years later, he's a little boy. Father is in his 80s. And that father, the first thing he's saying to him is, I'm going to slaughter you. And then he says, look in your heart, what do you see? Imagine, can you have this conversation with a child? Why not? Because we don't raise children like this. This is how we are supposed to raise children close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aware of themselves, awareness in their hearts and that will not happen unless we have the same awareness in our hearts. That comes out of humbleness and humility. It does not come out of arrogance. And that's why I want to end with this. The, uh, the, the, the cardinal crime of Iblis, of Shaitan, was arrogance. Allah said, He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and you created him from clay. He's better because he thinks that his, racially he is superior. Islam is not just uh, anti, it's, it's not just non-racist, Islam is anti-racist. Uh, we are against racism in any shape or form. And that because all racism is arrogance and Islam is against arrogance. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to remain humble, to remain connected with Him, Jalla Jalaluhu, and to do whatever we need to do with only one criterion which is 
does it please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyil kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al-mayim wa rahmatika ala huwa rahim.